Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you guys about this new wig that I got from Eva Wigs. And honestly, this has been the only wig company that I've really been working with besides making my own wigs myself. But um, they contacted me a, a while ago to review another wig, which I was late in responding to. So um, I got a stock wig that I'm going to show you guys how I basically get to um, my liking. So open the box I've been in the box already so it doesn't look how it looked when I first got it but you have the wig right here it's short I have the wig cap I have a wig cap already on underneath my scarf and you get a comb I took the comb out um, you get these bobby pins right here and then also you get a user manual for people who um, are new to getting these wigs and need help with maintaining them I don't think I need an instruction book on how to maintain wigs because I think I'm pretty much have the hang of it. But um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I got another bob wig, but this time it's a longer one. So this is what it looks like. It is jet black. I'm going to put it on my head, of course, so you guys can actually see what it looks like. But the name of this wig, I believe, is lf dash c-003 um i will make sure to leave it in the description box below because this is handwriting and i can't really tell if i'm actually saying the name of it right but this is a color number one and it is 14 inches this is a bob wig and i'm going to leave all of the actual specs of the hair including the density the color of the lace all of that is going to be in the, in the description box for those who need you know further details about how the wig was constructed so what i'm going to do is just take this little thing off and as you can see this is basically a lace frontal type of unit and then the rest is uh tracks sold onto the cap and there are three combs two on the side one at the base and then in the back you have a comb as well and then you have adjustable straps like right here to um further adjust for the wig to fit your head me I've been wearing my hair natural for the month of July and um, normally I get my aunt, my dad's sister to braid my hair in like nice braids and stuff like that when I wear my wigs. But I have been an advocate for wearing my natural hair and I didn't want to get my hair braided too structured. So I have two corn rolls going straight to the back. I am going to show you guys um, what it looks like. Because I needed a simple foundation for my wigs but in case you know I want to wear my hair natural the next day or whatever and I got to smooth down these edges yes lord okay these are the two corn rolls going straight to the back it really does not matter how you braid your hair as long as you can do it to where you can get the wig on your head to lay flat and not bumpy so this is basically the foundation that I'm working with got my little braids going on and um yeah I'm gonna put the wig cap back on because I will, I want to show you guys what the wig looks like once you put it on. Because when you put it on, it's not something that, you know, you just want to wear by itself. So, put the wig on. So this is the wig straight on my head, um, no alterations or anything. This is a color number one, which is jet black. And as I was alerted by um, the company, they cannot bleach the knots on a wig that is jet black because I feel like it can interfere with the roots of the hair um, for it being jet black. So what I have to do is basically define the parting in the wig because you can clearly see the wig cap right here. And then I have to cut off all of this lace right here. But what I'm going to do first is put these combs in place. So I don't worry about this wig moving at all while I am adjusting and customizing it on my head. And, you know, contrary to, you know, popular beliefs, I'm not going to wash this wig before I actually, you know, wear it. But what I am going to do after I, you know, finish styling well you know customizing the hair i am going to go and just flat iron it in the natural you know pattern it's going in but really all i need to do with this wig is just just pluck the uh, the part and that's it 
because everything else is pretty much set in stone and just cut off the lace. So I'm just going to start plucking right now. My camera is dying, but in the midst of me trying to rip out these hairs to get a defined parting in my hair, I ripped a hole in the lace of the wig. It's not really that noticeable because I have black hair underneath, so I'm not really tripping too much about it. But I did say the lace that I cut off of the front of the unit so I can possibly repair it. It's not that big of a hole, and I do want to fix it before it gets any worse. Camera is dying again, so uh, yeah, I'm out. Hey everybody, so it's the next day after I ripped a freaking hole in my lace wig. Like, I literally just got this wig. And for being impatient, trying to find a way to make it parting quicker than the regular, you know, tweezing, I ripped the hole in it. But I did replace it with some um, of the lace that was in the front of the wig before I cut it off. Um, it's not that bad. Honestly, I mean, I did rip it out, but it's not a gaping hole in the middle of the wig anymore, so I feel a little bit better about that. Um, like I said in the previous clips, I will have all of the information detailing the specs of this wig in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Um, the hair is jet black, and I can definitely tell because my baby hairs are not jet black. They're like dark brown, like I've been trying to tell everybody who's been trying to tell me my hair is jet black, because it's not. But... So far, so good. I really like the style on me. It's really pretty. Sugar. 